Rachel Botsman, What's Mine is Yours, The Rise of Collaborative Consumption. In today's world of hyperconsumerism and environmental decay, What's Mine is Yours, The Rise of Collaborative Consumption, by Rachel Botsman challenges the conventional consumption habits that have become deeply ingrained in our society. By discussing the evolution of consumerism, exploring its environmental and societal consequences, and presenting alternative economic arrangements such as collaborative consumption systems, this book summary sheds light on how we can be more mindful and sustainable in our manners of consumption. Get ready to dive into the world of sharing, renting, and redistributing goods and services, where owning less may finally lead to experiencing more. The Consequences of American Consumerism Americans' love for shopping has reached a new level with more shopping centers than high schools in the United States. Over the past 50 years, Americans have consumed more goods and services than all previous generations combined, resulting in a staggering amount of personal storage facilities that didn't even exist before 1964. Marketing strategies that are more sophisticated and pervasive, products designed to fail after a certain time, and disposable products being used only once have contributed to the uptick in consumption. Politicians and economists reinforce the message, as they believe that consumption is the engine of economic growth. However, our unabashed consumption has far-reaching consequences, which will be discussed in the book. Our Disposable Culture The throwaway culture of modern society has far-reaching implications for our environment. Our insatiable appetite for disposable goods has led to the depletion of one-third of the planet's remaining resources since 1980. Deforestation alone destroys an area equivalent to all of Greece each year. Moreover, if everyone lived like an average American child, five Earth-like planets would be required to sustain our lifetime consumption. The oceans are clogged with 100 million metric tons of plastic waste annually, leading to the slow death of marine life that mistakenly eat plastic bits. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch extends hundreds of thousands of square miles and encompasses 3.5 million tons of garbage. It's evident that our overconsumption culture has grave environmental ramifications. The Cost of Our Material Obsession Our obsession with material possessions is hurting our happiness, relationships, and wallets. American households accumulate $8,000 in debt, pay at least $1,000 in interest and fees per year, and carry an average of $937 per capita in credit card debt. The increased consumption since the 1950s has not resulted in increased happiness. Instead, societal indicators signal a decline in personal well-being. Psychological complaints like depression and anxiety, conditions like insomnia, obesity, and heart disease have increased astonishingly since the 1980s. Rethinking Consumption Our current consumption-oriented economy is not sustainable, and people are increasingly aware of its false premises. We need to consume less and get more out of each purchase, repairing clothes, and sharing cars and tools. As we focus more on material possessions, we invest less in personal relationships, leading to isolation and increased consumption. However, we are learning and investing more care into our consumption, preferring personal interactions at places like flea and farmers markets. Farmers markets have become the fastest growing part of the American food economy. Overall, there are signs that we're rethinking consumption, and we need to find a better way to distribute goods in a sustainable manner that doesn't rely on continually increasing consumption. Collaborative consumption through the internet. The Internet provides a platform for collaborative consumption systems that enable people to share access to products and services instead of owning them. With online marketplaces like Airbnb, individuals can easily connect with others to advertise and lease their goods, reaching a wider audience than traditional methods. These systems require a critical mass of items and participants to succeed and compete with conventional shopping methods. Online platforms offer personalized interactions between buyers and sellers, making the process simpler and more engaging. The future of collaborative consumption through the Internet offers a variety of possibilities, which will be explored in the following sections. A shift to product service systems. 
The emergence of product service systems, PSS, has revolutionized the consumer industry. Libraries and online video rental services pave the way for this system that provides the benefit of using goods without owning them. PSS involves sharing or renting goods instead of owning them, leading to a shift from a consumption-based economy to a service-based one. Apart from being eco-friendly, PSS also saves money and allows access to goods that one might not have been able to afford. Zipcar is an example of tapping into the car-sharing potential, where five people can share one car instead of owning five individual cars. Sharing goods also reduces the need for storage space. By embracing PSS, people can eliminate clutter and still enjoy the benefits of goods and services. Give your stuff a second life. Unused items clutter our homes, but redistribution markets offer an eco-friendly solution. In Australia alone, $10.8 billion AUD is spent on products that are never used. These items could be useful to someone else, and redistribution markets allow goods to move between owners by giving away, swapping, or selling. Examples of these markets include Freecycle and eBay. With 7 million users, Freecycle is an online charity store open to anyone. Such markets benefit not only the new owner and former owner by clearing clutter but also the environment by reducing waste. Rather than collecting dust or adding to landfill, unwanted items can be given a new lease of life by finding a new owner who will cherish them. Next time you're tempted to toss out something that's still in good condition, consider whether someone else could use it. With redistribution markets, your unwanted items may be just what someone else needs. Collaborative Lifestyles If you're tired of the unsustainable and individualistic lifestyle that comes with urban centers and classic consumerism, you'll find appeal in the collaborative lifestyle movement. Exploring the third kind of collaborative consumption system, where people can share intangible assets like services and money, this summary highlights the benefits of this shift in lifestyle. From gardening networks to peer-to-peer -peer lending sites like Zopa, collaborative living is taking the world by storm. Discover the benefits of this way of living that go beyond just access to goods and services, it also fosters community and strong relationships. Rachel Botsman's What's Mine is Yours, The Rise of Collaborative Consumption, provides a thought-provoking look at the unsustainable nature of our current consumption habits, and presents alternatives for a more environmentally responsible and socially fulfilling lifestyle. By embracing collaborative consumption systems, such as product service systems, redistribution markets, and collaborative lifestyles, we can find a way to consume less, save money, and contribute to a more sustainable future. In the process, we may also discover the power of personal connections, positive relationships, and the true value of what we own. This book summary offers a glimpse into a world where owning less means experiencing more, and where sharing becomes the key to a better life.